Hello, this is an edited movie showing an endoscopic marsupialization of uh, a mucosil of the left side nasal cavity. As you can see on the CT scans, there is a large mass on the ethmoid region. Uh, the lumina papyracea of the left side orbit uh, seems to be a little bit uh, eroded and the skull base also seems to have a defect. So we'll see in the MRI in a bit that uh, there is no defect on the skull base. So this is the axial cuts showing the lesion in the left side nasal cavity in uh, a very intimous contact with the orbital left side orbit content and as you can see this is the hyper intense signal on this on the MRI both coronal and axial views and you've seen a sagittal cut that uh, it's completely extradural the lesion is completely outside the brain so we decided to do this endoscopic approach in order to marsupialize this mucosal um, in order to open the content and, and to alleviate the symptoms of the patient. So this is the left side cavity, inferior turbinate, septum, and this is the lesion. And this is a very uh, interesting way because the middle turbinate has been pushed down by the lesion. So this is the inferior turbinate, and then this is the lesion. The unsnate process in the left side, this is the, the upper part of the nasal cavity, this is the unsinate process, and the middle turbinate has been turned down by the lesion. Th that is the unsinate, uh, is the ethmoid bulla over there, right down the lesion, and this is the middle turbinate. So we are opening the maxillary sinus using the M line, uh, the horizontal line that lies uh, below the ethmoid bulla, and as you can see, this is the maxillary sinus natural ostium, always angulated, so you have the infundibulum and then the maxillary sinus natural ostium. Then we enlarge to do the antrostomy, the maxillary sinus antrostomy, just in order to gain space and in order to have a very good anatomical landmark, the maxillary sinus for the orbit. So we now cauterize uh, the remaining middle turbinate in order to remove the middle turbinate of this left side. So cauterizing also the borders of the antrostomy, the posterior borders of the antrostomy, maxillary antrostomy. So we are removing now the middle turbinate of the left side in order also to gain space. And after you remove the middle turbinate of the left, left side, you have a very big uh, cavity. So you have a landmark for the mucosil in order to spare the orbit. So we open the mucosil with a freer following the orbit. You have to remember that the lamina papyracea is eroded. So you have to be careful about opening this, not to go inside the orbit. But since we have the maxillary sinus as a landmark to the orbit, we see the orbital floor on the maxillary sinus, we have a very nice safe way to open this lesion. And then we drain, we uh, aspirate the contents of the lesion of the mucosil, and then we remove the remaining parts of the mucosil in order to marsupialize the lesion in order for the mucosid not to reformat again. Marsupialize in a very big way in order for the mucosid not to reformat again. And also you have to remove those remaining parts of the mucosil sac. And also we inspect the posterior ethmoidal cells and the sphenoid sinus in order to open, in order to avoid any post-operative complications regarding sinusitis or obstruction due to not opening those sinus. So you have the mucosal uh, content on the skull base, this is the uh, left side maxillary sinus which was open, there was no disease inside. And this is the power of the endoscopes. You can have a very close up view into the very small tiny little vessels. And then sometimes when you adjust the focus, you can see the red blood cells coming, uh, traveling inside the blood vessel, especially the smallest ones that you can see in a very nice way. Of course, the bigger ones you can also see, but they are in a much uh, bigger condition. So you can see in a very small blood cells, the red blood cells traveling uh, inside uh, the, the blood vessel. So you have the final view. This is the inferior turbinate, the septum, uh, the mucosal which is, was marsupialized, and then we put some uh, uh, hemostatic mas material, this is surgery cell, and then we put a little bit of gel foam just to assure uh, the hemostasis 